Looks like we're live. I don't know. Well, hello there, Coffee Sound friends. How y'all doing? I can't really tell. There are some people. Folks, tonight's Friday night, and it's Friday night, take it easy night. And one of you all, one of you little birds out there last night, talked about having hamburgers and onion rings, and I said, we've not had any in a while. And I don't know that we've had hamburgers and onion rings in a long time, Mama. No. Well, we're having them tonight. You all inspired us. Mama went to the store today, and she seen me get some onion rings. I said, boy, do I ever. So, my, I've got the hamburgers. Now, this is the micro pro grill. You've seen this process many times. And I just made two hamburgers out, and I put salt and pepper on, and a little bit of this steak seasoning here. This ends, I thought this was Montreal, but this is called Supreme Tradition, but it's steak seasoning. We have several, and it was just plain salt, plain pepper. And that's it, and I put it in here. I squirted just a little bit of this uh, oil on there, and I put a little bit on the top. Now I'm putting it in grill mode, which is down in there. This would be casserole mode. And I'm gonna put them in there for about eight minutes. That's it, because we're gonna cook on both sides. And the reason I like to cook them in the microwave, well, there's many reasons. One reason is it's terribly easy. The second reason is, is it don't smell up the kitchen. And you don't have that grease splatter going everywhere and it's very controlled. So that is, Mom says get these in the oven. Mama's putting the onion rings. Mom, if you'll hand me that bag. We didn't do these. These are, we bought these. These are our store brand, and they're called Beer Battered Onion Rings. And they're the, they look like the real McCoy. They're not the little frozen kind. And Mama's spraying them, like some of y'all recommend. This is olive oil. And she's going to spray them. I don't like the way that black looks. It's just a piece of burnt. Get it off there. And it's just a, this is just olive oil in that can. And Mama's gonna spray these up here. Just to keep them good, brown and crispy, because you all said that'll keep them from drying out. And we have learned, you all were correct, 100%. When we did the fish, it got a little dry. So now we know the secret. And the secret is this. Use a little bit of spray. That's good, Mama. That's I sprayed good. the top, so I might have sprayed the bottom so I turned it over. Oh my gosh, that's good. I it, need that. Here's that. You're gonna, you got it underneath there. I was gonna wipe it for it. You get to you slide in it. Thank you, Mama. Yeah, you can clean it up. I'll use this rag right here. So that is it. That was easy. Cleaned up already. Now I'm going to tilt y'all over here and show you the cutting board. we got a delicious Vidalia onion, and I'm going to tell you more about that in just a minute. But look how beautiful and perfect it is. And I love the Vidalia onion on a hamburger. This beautiful onion was sent to us by a lady from Vidalia, or really close to Vidalia. And uh, she says these onions were grown in Vidalia. So can't get better than that direct from the source now can you we're going to tell you her name and show you the rest of it we'll get some more gifts today we're going to go over those while the while the burgers are cooking and um, the onion rings are cooking too i'm going to bring this right over here this is just some romaine lettuce i used your tail I love romaine lettuce on hamburgers or sandwiches or anything. Now what I'm gonna do is lay some of the green part over here. Mama won't probably eat any. She normally does, but there's some green. And I love these stems on the romaine. I love to eat them. So I'm gonna leave them there and I'm just gonna slice this delicious Vidalia onion up. Mama, you gonna try this Vidalia onion? I believe I will. You're gonna risk it. You just can't hardly pass it. I just have to set up tonight anyway, probably. You just hardly can pass up. The day onions are almost like the tomatoes. Once you get a hold of a good one, and once you see how delicious the homegrown is, 
Yeah. Mommy, you want a real thin one? Yeah. I'll just sit my, won't put it on the burger, but I'll eat a bite or two with it. But once you get a hold of a good fat hay onion, especially from Vidalia, oh, it's hard to go I back to the I'll regular. Eat, eat a piece of it. They're super thin, Mama. Just in case that's what you want. That's good for me. Thank you. And I'm going to go ahead and slice the rest of this. Yeah, you don't need that on your burger. Why? It's got that harder part. Oh. Um, I'll use it with some beans. Mm -hmm. And here's some more pieces. I love the ringlets. I will be probably eating an onion sandwich out of this probably tomorrow. Um... It's so pretty and white and crisp. It doesn't burn your eyes. I mean, it's just wonderful. But I'll probably break over and have an onion sandwich with some mayonnaise and some black pepper. I ain't gonna lie about it. I love them. Mama, you want to go ahead and start to, um, going through these gifts and let's get these shine. Well, first of all, it's my apron. Oh, Mama's got this beautiful apron. And she sent some recipes. I'll let Mama, I'm just going to cut a tomato. Y'all have seen me do that. Who is that? This here right. is from Vicki Boggs Crisp. Okay, and she's uh, her 84 year old mama made this apron. And ain't it beautiful with it all the crosses beautiful. and stuff? Just plum beautiful. Beautiful. I can't hear you. <laughs> Did you forget to turn the volume up, Mama? It says, uh, it's from that, uh, Vicki Fogg's Chris. And she also, oh, the old bin like that. This is called Crack Corn Salad. I've not read them and went over them because we just got them today. Mexican Cornbread Casserole. And we'll Ooh, go, I can't wait to try that one. We're going to go over it. Well, look what a beautiful card. Oh, I got it over where they can't see it. And this is two recipes that she sent in this beautiful apron. Uh, and the lady that sent the the Fidelia onions is uh, Joanne. Is that Dawson? Mm -hmm. Joanne Dawson. And she says, I enjoy watching you cook and visit. Everyone, I, uh, I hope you enjoy the Vidalia's onions. Uh, fresh from Vidalia. We live 30 miles from there. And uh, it says, P.S. This farm is in Blinds, which is the same county as Vidalia. And look here, they are beautiful. And I took a little pinch of one of those. And it's sweet and so good. You can tell they're really Vidalia onions. Uh, and then uh, somebody sent you this knife. Who was that? I seen the knife. I didn't see the letter. I can't. Uh, I don't know. It's why. not far because we just opened. Well, with me, it could be a country mile away. Here's the Look at this cute little collector's knife. Here, here's the package it was in, but I don't believe it's And it didn't have a paper. Look at this cute little collector's knife, and it's got this little leather sheath that goes in it. And look how tiny. I ain't going to take it out of the pack just yet, but you can see it there. Love that. My dad would have loved this little miniature. It came in its own little display case. Look at that. That is beautiful. Let's see the package, Mama, and I'll see if I can read this something is, on it. This is the package. It didn't have a note in it. Well, I didn't find it. Who sent this? Just says to, to John, and it's from Industria, Industry California. So if you sent that comment, and we want we want to know who you are. Also, the Landons, they are they watch in. Is this Mary Lou, one of those, ain't it? Mary, uh, yeah, that's her right there. They watch in. They are locals. They are from here. 
Um, and she said she had played in our church, and they, they're in Georgia now. But look at these CDs she sent. And we will listen to these. We remember them coming to our church when I was young. She said Mama looked familiar. Well, that's the reason Mama looks familiar. It's because she's been there uh, years ago when Mama was there. Yeah. She sent four CDs. Wow. And uh, we're good friends with a lot of the family that they know. And... Um, she, she sent this beautiful letter too, and I read it, and she says that she didn't know. She thought our voices sound familiar because of the accent, and then she learned that um, we were right here from Jellico, and she was born in Jellico over on Kentucky Hill, and had gone to Kentucky Hill Church and had sang in churches all around here. Did you show this big bag of Italian onions? I think I did. They Look at so that. wonderful. That is so wonderful and gracious of you. And I feed a little piece, and they're just, it's just great. Is that all you got then, Mama? I got the onions, the CD, your knife, and my apron. I think you're... And I've got something else. What I think your onion do? rings are done. What did I do with that one little thing right here? I know that I was forgetting something. Oh, yes. I'll show them this and you check those onion rings. They're smoking. <laughs> They're <a> smoking? <laughs> I think it might be that oil that you kept that putting on there. oil on the pan. Mama's not got quite the hang of moderation on the oil. It's on the... Look at this beautiful ornament. Now, you all remember the beautiful bags that someone sent that had Maggie on them and had Tootsie on them. And Mama's been carrying the one for a pocketbook. This is an ornament. She said it should have came. Everybody loves it for the pocketbook. Everybody does love it. Uh, she said this should have came with those. But look, it's front and back. It's got her name right there, Davis. And uh, this came from Miss Linda. Miss Linda, thank you so much. She says she listens to, uh, and they watch. She works third shift, and she says they watch our Sunday School highlights on Monday morning. I think that's neat. And uh, so this is a beautiful ornament. And there's Jesus is there in the middle of the cross. Can you see that? How beautiful. And it says, for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Beautiful. And that will go on the tree, the ornament tree. Those are not the onion rings, it's where some oil dropped down in the Just oven. the oil burner, Mama said it ain't the actual rings. <laughs> They're safe. I, while y'all were watching Mama chuck raisins, I have a big old jar of dill pickles here. We buy the others a lot of times, but I just soon cut my own up, so I've got them cut up here, ready for sandwiches, and those are deals. And I'm just gonna put, put them right on here. You know, a lot of times I will just leave it on the board but tonight, I did. Uh, you don't have to, but if you, if you want to, you can. Um, tonight, I just put it on this plate. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I love a big plate of vegetables. I think that just, it just brightens up the table and it brightens up my mood. I love vegetables. I'm not a vegetarian, but I love vegetables. And I love all kinds of vegetables. I'm even learning to appreciate Brussels sprouts. I'm really, you say you say I like everything but Brussels sprouts. But even now, I'm getting to the point that I appreciate a good Brussels sprout. I can eat them. This is the avocado oil I was telling y'all about last night, and I'm going to show you again tonight. I looked up online before I went to order avocado oil. Excuse me. Mama's throwing stuff. And this was ranked one of the best. Uh, avocado oils and I got on Amazon and it was one of the cheaper ones so I felt like that was a double good thing so uh, try your avocado oil the difference between avocado oil and olive oil to me it don't have any taste uh, to me but it, it smoke point is 500 degrees which is very handy when you're um, I put the cheese right there mama it's very handy when you're cooking with it because most things I cook a little hot. I don't usually, you know, cook below. But I need to put your cheese on. Stick it back in or another side. No, no. Just turn it over and slap that cheese on there. It's really Open them up and I'll get your cheese in. Let me open up. Oh, you open it. 
Get the one you bun open and I'll flop this over. Oh. It's good and brown on top. Mm-hmm. Here's the hamburger. Come out of that micro pro grill in eight minutes. Look at that deliciousness. I need a bun. You may have one. <laughs> and here's your cheese. You didn't open it. Cheers your cheese. And I'm just gonna lay this bun right on top of that cheese and it'll melt it right on down. Just like downtown, as they say. Get this out of the way. So what are y'all having? What's going on in your world? Mama uh, is watching picture is backwards. You know, we did the flip, and we will do the flip again if we're going to show a lot of writing. But it was so aggravating trying to drive backwards. And a lot of people said they didn't like it. A lot of people said, flip it back. We're not used to that. We don't like the way it looks. I could get used Mama to it. Mama could get used to it. So if we show a lot of writing, I can flip it. I think I can flip it and flip it back. So uh, we'll see. We're going to learn. We're going to learn as we go. But we didn't like it flipped because it's too hard to maneuver the camera. One person said, it makes you all too tense. <laughs> I couldn't get used to that. I don't think we were tense. We may have acted like we were. So that makes you all too tense. Flip it back, John. <laughs> so, I thought, mm, we don't want tension. You want my Coke? Or... Hmm, that's a good question, Mama. Um, a Sprite? Or... Maybe a little Sprite. And that way I won't have caffeine this late. I know, I drink a lot of coffee, but I've drunk a lot today. And I've still got a half a cup here. So, uh, I better knock off somewhere, huh? Even though it's Friday night. And I could sit up later. But I still get up at the same time. And I want to be fresh and, you know, good spirits tomorrow. Because Are you all sleeper inners? Do you all sleep in on your days off? Or do you, like me, I feel the sense of, this is my day off, I want to get every ounce of it, and I jump up even earlier. Except I don't dread jumping up on my days off. I can't wait to get to the coffee pot, and from the coffee pot to the porch. And uh, usually, you know, my routine every morning is the same. I like to get up, get a shower, get cleaned up, ready for the day. That way, if someone knocks on the door, I can answer it. And uh, get to the coffee pot. And then enjoy and set my day. Someone wants to tell me, plan your day or smell plan it for you. And I guess I take that to heart because I like to know kind of what's up. Uh, I don't mind a surprise or two, but I'm not big on surprises. I'd rather know what's going on. You're doing Sprite too. Yeah, but mine, I've had it zero Sprite. Zero, zero. I've been trying my best to be halfway good. Mama has found... The other night at church, we had a little dinner, and literally, she found, turn y'all around. You know what, Mama? I've not had the microphone on this whole time you've been talking. I hope y'all have heard Mama. I, I know you've heard my mouth, but this microphone is good, and uh, it helps her, too. They don't want to hear me no way. <laughs> Yes, Mama, because when they came, they said, we can't hear Mama, John. Anyhow, back to the story. She literally found a Dr. Pepper Zero in the church refrigerator. And uh, she tried it. And what do you think, Mama? It was good. I bought some today. That's how. That's how good they was. So Mama's... It's not, gives it's me so... a different flavor to switch out to and stuff. Boy, it did melt that cheese. No problem with that. Look there. I reckon. So Mama has switched over to now Zero Sprite, Zero Coke, and Zero and Dr. Dr. Pepper. Pepper. Mama, what kind of veggies do would you like? I want some tomato on here. How's that? Yeah, and I want my little... You want another little piece of tomato? Yes, please. Okay. And you want your little thin... And in here. Okay, yes, ma'am. And I want salt. <laughs> you don't want anything else? Well, I'll get me a pickle lay on the side, but I don't want it okay. on mine. I don't There's want you some pickle, Mama. And I here. Don't, don't want no lettuce. Oh, I'm going to get the good lettuce. Look, here's the good lettuce. 
It's that beautiful green. That's what romaine is for, just to give that green, lush, gorgeous look. Mm -hmm. Mama, I know you want mustard. And that soft you took away from And that soft <laughs> I took away from me. I'll let y'all watch Mama uh, prepare her. Oh, mine's delicious. plain. It ain't nothing. I like a lot of lettuce. Mama likes no lettuce. When I make a sandwich, I want a ton of lettuce on it. That's that one you told me not to use, ain't it, Mama? Well, the one on the very bottom, I said not use. Now, these Vidalia is going to make this a special burger. Thank you so much for these. These are a blessing. Um, I can't wait every year till the Vidalia's hit the store. And I can't wait till the first tomato hits the garden. All that is music to my ears. Yeah, I got a knife. And you've left off the onion rings, Mama. I ain't gonna put them on it. I'm gonna put them on the side. Now, we do have pimento cheese in there. And pimento cheese would be absolutely delicious on this hamburger. But I'm not in the mood for that flavor tonight. I'm in the mood for a good old fashioned hamburger flavor. That's what I said I wanted. Plain old hamburger. And when I saw these Vidalia onions, that there was sealed, no doubt. Sealed the case, didn't it? There was no doubt what I was wanting. Would, My you, would you let me have an onion ring? If you don't I'll care. let you have one. Now, if one. you don't want me to have one, just say. I'll let you have one. He's worried about not getting an onion ring. Oh, I said it was sky high. I didn't knock it off. I don't believe. <laughs> Four onion rings will be fine, Mama. Okay. I don't believe I knocked it over. I might have. You might have, Mama, now. Yeah. You, you were up and tumbly. Mm -hmm. Look at that. I, my mouth wouldn't open high that wide. Well, now, Ma, are you trying to say mine will? I believe it will have to. Look at that downtown burger. That onion made it high and that lettuce. I like lots of lettuce. And look at those onion rings. Now, if y'all ask what brand those onion rings were, they're just the Save-A-Lot store brand, aren't they, Mama? Yeah, I asked him, did he have any other? I was hoping to get some that's already browned a little, so you would just have to warm them, but it didn't work out that well. That's all he had. Well, I believe those are actually a good onion ring. We're going to find out right now. Yeah. Did you get you get your master? Oh, we had a stars party! Oh, boy. Thank you, Otis. Got the glimpse of it. We better say our best. Thank you so much. Let's bless it. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this wonderful meal. We thank you for these precious hands that prepared it to the Lord. And dear Lord, we just ask you to be with each and every person out there, those that are needing and those that are needing healing. Dear Lord, we just pray that you'll be with each and every prayer request answered as only you can in your will and your glory. Watch over us, leading God, and direct us. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you all for that stars party. You are so wonderful. Um, I just caught the end of it. Mama, my mouth can't fit this either. I'm going to have to cut it. That's a good burger when your mouth can't even fit it. You made them thick and... Thick and juicy burger. Mm. Mm. I'll share with y'all. Look, it's done all the way through. I like my steaks medium, but I like my burgers well. That burger has been ground. So I don't want to try it without it being well. I like it well done. Okay, now, I'm anxious to try these onion rings. They taste exactly like home um, restaurant made. Those are good. Mm -hmm. You won't catch up. I said it out. Just Let me share with y'all. Look how wonderful. They're like a good restaurant ordered and bought onion ring. Very, very good. Well, folks, that's it tonight. Does anybody have anything they want to share with us? Hey, Brenda Martin. Nathan's are the best. Is that an onion ring called Nathan's, Teddy? 
We will look for Nathan soon. We love don't have burgers. a view of this on the camera. I love homemade burgers too. We'll have to go to the big store probably to get Nathan's. Uh, Bobby Hall, hi, John Mama from Princeton, Kentucky. Wow. Hello from Texas. Hey, Kathy, how are y'all doing? We had some thunder and we had the promise of some rain, but the sky looked blue and it was just cloudy. But we did have some <laughs> weird thunder, didn't we, Mama? Yeah. Had a one little black cloud, but the thunder didn't come from that direction. No. It was really strange. It was just, oh, I said, oh, there's thunder, but it's coming from over there. So whatever it was, it passed us by, didn't it, Mama? We didn't get it. We didn't get it. We was needing a little bit of rain because we got those planes. Now, we've not planned our planes yet because tomorrow's project is to get some dirt, some good, rich potting soil, which will probably mean a trip to the big store. And we'll do that. Anything else, Mom, you want to add tonight? No. Folks, it's been a pleasure as always. It's 7.38. Y'all probably eat and are on your porch. And here we are just now eating because we're slow like that or something. Mm -hmm. But we love y'all and we thank y'all for joining us. And we want to say, find you something good to eat if you haven't already. And uh, make you some memories tonight. Make some memories with your family. It's a wonderful night to get out and about and enjoy the evening. I just wanted to thank everybody, especially an 84-year-old woman, for making this apron. She made it, and it's beautiful. It's beautiful. And thank it's everybody. It's got verses. Yeah. It says Amazing Grace. It's got the it's cross. It's got roses. Beautiful. Beautiful. And, and we'll thank everybody for everything we've got. And just the Vidalia onions. Oh, they're wonderful. They taste wonderful. I just tasted a one. I don't want to get the name wrong. What was, who was the name? Let me find the letter. It was a card, I think, right now. No. I said your name while I go. Mama's done moved it so we can stack the cards up. <laughs> but thank you, because they are delicious. Yes, they, are. they are not hot. They're sweet. They're delicious. It's just, it's wonderful. You can tell they're the true idea. I think two things are going to have to happen. I want an onion sandwich. And I want some onion cornbread. Mm. We'll take you along with us. I'll show you the onion cornbread. And we'll uh, try some good onion cornbread. If you've never tried onion cornbread, it is delicious. Mama got a new bump pan today. Because I wanted her to have one ready for our cook along. And we'll announce that this week. Hopefully, maybe next weekend. Or maybe one evening. Because the cake won't be as hard. Uh, we'll, we'll announce it. We'll get that together. All you're going to need is a white cake mix and all the ingredients that come on it with eggs and oil. And you'll need a little, little orange juice and a little bit of sugar. And we will fix that right up. Can't wait. Mm -hmm. Can you, Mom? No. We love orange. I love sweets. <laughs> I love anything orange. Dreamsicle, orange, creamsicle, orange pie, all those good things. Well, we said bye three times. This is Southern Goodbye number four. We're going to say goodbye. Y'all have a great night. Enjoy yourselves, and we'll talk to you real soon. Lord goodbye, Mama. Bye -bye. God bless you all. Bye-bye.